Hello guys, it's nice to be back. I actually wanted to share with you one of my creative projects this year that I'm turning 60. And many of you were asking why I'm interested about growing grapes and now fig plant. So if you have not subscribed yet, maybe you have to subscribe to my channel so that you may be alerted every time I make an update on this big project. So keep on watching. During Solomon's time, every man lives under his own vine and under his own fig tree. And I'm so curious whether or not I can grow this same plant wherever I am situated right now here in the Philippines. So last April, I actually bought a cutting and started propagating it. And it looks promising in the beginning. But like two weeks, some two weeks later, it drooped down and it broke my heart. This looks like a failure. And indeed it was. So I tried again because I blamed that it was summertime and maybe that was the reason why I failed the first time. I bought a few cuttings more and look. It looks healthy. It gives me hope. There's a lot of energy in this cutting. And it shows in the in the leaves. Look at this. Yeah. So I'm watching over this very well. Careful about watering. And when it was ready for some sunshine in the morning, I placed it in an area where it can have early morning sun. It has grown taller when partially exposed to the sun. It looks like ready for transplant to a bigger pot, but I just want to be sure that the roots are established first. These fig plants are ready for transplant exactly a month later but I still have to keep them in partial shade to protect them from wilting and be adjusted in their new pots. And since it's rainy, I now put them out and expose them to morning sun. This is a successful propagation. There you have it, guys. I am sharing with you my naturalistic side where I'm interested about plants and more importantly, uh, because figs and even grapes are ancient fruits mentioned in the Bible and my experience with these plants makes me understand why it is being used in metaphors or parables and my deeper understanding about it now helps in my belief or in my faith and another thing I also have a lineup of things that I needed to do with plants or in the garden waiting for a time would I be available 
because every time I end uh, my coaching meetings, the heavy stuff that comes with coaching sessions, I use my planting projects as my debriefing. And well, it is good for my mental balance and also uh, it gives me an avenue to express what is it that I am curious about and the things that I learned from this and whether it's a successful experiment or whether it failed, it's the experience that I learned because I really learned by doing. So I hope this inspires you to pursue whatever it is that you are inclined to do. I really appreciate that you've been watching this video to the end. It's, it's an encouragement to see you subscribe to my channel and I hope uh, to see you again next time. Bye!